Good evening, parents and carers, and thank you for joining us for this welcome event today. If you are unable to attend the event, please do find some time to look at this presentation and take yourself through all of the information that we shared with you at this event. At the welcome event today, you had the opportunity to meet with Mrs. Miles, our head teacher, Miss Ponsonby, that's me, and I'm the acting deputy head teacher. Mrs. Price, who will be the head of Year 7 for your daughter, Miss Daniel, who will be the assistant head of Year 7, and Miss Kirkby, who is our primary outreach coordinator. So my role with Transition is really around pastoral care, and I am also the designated safeguarding lead here at Chorney Girls. I oversee the whole transition process from now all the way through till December 2021. This doesn't mean that we then forget about your daughter, but we want to ensure that that transition runs from this moment until December. That way she should be really settled in and really starting to become a fantastic Tawny girl. I liaise with the feeder schools and I conduct visits to the schools along with the year team to meet our brilliant new students. I support with the transition days and projects for new students as well. I communicate with you and I keep you updated with transition arrangements via email and post when needed. And I have to ensure that the transition from primary to secondary is as smooth as possible for all students. Mrs Price is our head of year seven. These are the roles and responsibilities that she has to ensure that your daughter is happy and safe coming to Chorney High School for Girls. During the transition process, Mrs Price will conduct primary school visits, she will coordinate the transition day activities and she will support students in the journey from their current school to Chorney Girls. From September onwards, Mrs Price will oversee the pastoral care of your child, the behaviour and the welfare of the year group as a whole. She will also oversee the Year 7 PDC and registration programme. She will also be responsible for tracking and recognising the fantastic progress and achievements made by your daughter. Mrs Price really looks forward to meeting you all. Miss Daniel is our assistant head of Year 7. Miss Daniel's roles include visiting primary schools to meet students and to speak to teachers all about the fantastic things that your child does, including hobbies and interests. Miss Daniel will be the first point of contact for parents and students. She is also responsible for monitoring absence and we have high standards and expectations when it comes to attendance at Journey Girls. We expect all students to have at least 97% attendance. This is because good attendance leads to good progress and good outcomes. Miss Daniel is also the safeguarding lead for Year 7, so she will be responsible for the welfare and well-being of all students in this year group. Miss Daniel looks forward to working with you all very soon, and I know she is very excited to come in and meet you all in your primary schools. Miss Kirkby is our primary transition coordinator, and Miss Kirkby aims to support the Year 6 transition to high school by providing key information and advice. Hopefully this will make your daughter feel familiar with our school and the process of transition overall should inspire confidence. Miss Kirkby will be planning some really fantastic projects for the girls to complete for transition. An example of some of these projects will include sending an introductory video about our school, primary school visits and talks, answering any queries that you may have, and assisting with transition events and our transition days. Most importantly, Ms Kirkby will help students to settle into life at high school. On this slide, we would just like to introduce you to our senior leadership team. We have, along with myself and Mrs Miles, we have Mrs Menon, who is the deputy head teacher. We have three assistant head teachers, Ms Dolan, Mrs Masters and Ms Mills. And we also have Mrs Whitehall, who is an assistant head teacher, and three associate assistant head teachers. You will get the opportunity to meet all of them when we have our event in July and there are more, more information will follow about this event. Our ethos at Chorney High School for Girls is respect, opportunity and achievement and you will see this around our building, particularly when you come into the foyer reception area. Respect. We have high expectations in everything we do, the way we communicate and the way students present themselves. We always tell our students that smart presentation means smart thinking. We encourage 
the use of good language and oracy. Our behaviour for learning model is based on three R's, which are respectful, ready and resilient. And this underpins everything we do at Johnny High School for Girls. We have a zero tolerance approach to any form of bullying. And if there is any form of bullying, it is dealt with swiftly. Our mission statement is to develop influential women of the future. And this is something that we really, really are proud of. Opportunity. We have numerous leadership opportunities for students in all year groups, ranging from sports captains to form captains to bodies to prefects to house captains and many, many more. There are a variety of clubs to attend daily, PE clubs, debating clubs, mobile activities and computing. And we hope to re return to some kind of normal to en enable all of these to happen from September 2021. We have enrichment days, trips and activities. We have a student voice, which is, plays a significant role in our school, and I actually lead on that as well. So hopefully some of the year six students will join me on that journey. We have numerous careers opportunities. We have memorable experiences and we pride ourselves on cultural capital, which is giving students the opportunity to do things that they wouldn't ordinarily do outside of school. And finally, achievement. For the past three years, we have been in the top 10 percent in the whole country for student progress. The picture here on this slide is the last GCSE results day that we had. Now, obviously, this didn't happen last year, but you can see the joy on the students' faces. We had grade nines achieved in lots of subjects of so biology, chemistry, English, lit and language, maths, physics, textiles, RE and combined science. We are really proud of our students and they work so hard to achieve the very, very best grades that they possibly can. I know that your daughters will go on to do the same thing. One of the things that we really pride ourselves on here at Chorney Girls is our social action and charity work. Now, again, this relates to the last academic year and we hold our very own Race for Life every single year and we have a Good Causes Week every year as well. Our Race for Life in the last academic year raised £12,570 in one day. In the same year, we raised £6,340 for four charities which our houses chose. All students are so passionate about helping those less fortunate than themselves, and we cannot wait to have you on board with us. A number of years ago, we introduced a house system. The house system is designed to reflect and enhance the existing core values and ethos of the school. It is an integral part of Tony's culture and vibrant community. It creates healthy competition, promotes good work and behaviour, encourages teamwork and provides opportunities for students to take on responsibilities and most importantly it brings everyone in the school together. You will see here just one of the competitions that we held quite recently and these happen every single half term across a range of subjects so there is something for all of you. As our mission is to develop influential women of the future our houses are called after four very influential women. We have House Brady, House Ennis Hill, House Jemison, and House Yusuf Sai. And the students actually chose and played an integral part in forming our house system. In each year group, two form groups from each year group are part of a house. So in July, your daughter will find out which form she is in and which house she is in. There are also ties that they wear to represent the house colours. So House Brady wear blue ties, Ennis Hill wear green. Jemison wear silver and Yusuf Sai wear purple, but I will come on to more about this in a few minutes. I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes just about equipment that we have here at Chorney and how much this will cost. We have a package here in school and all year sevens have a compulsory Chorney High School for Girls school bag, a compulsory PE kit bag, which will be in the house colour with the Chorney logo, a padlock for their locker because all students here have their own locker, and a tie in their house colour. All four items cost just £16 in total. You'll be able to pay in advance via parent mail and I will send this information to you via email or post at a later date. You'll be able to collect the items at our transition event on the 8th of July 2021 and again more information will be given to you shortly about this event. We will arrange an additional collection date, but we do encourage you to attend the event on the 8th of July as it contains lots of important information about our school. Communication with you is so important for us all. We have a dedicated transition email and we will use this to communicate with you frequently. 
And likewise, you can also communicate with us in this way. So if you do have any queries, please do use this, this email address. Could I please ask that you check your spam and your junk mail, as sometimes these emails appear in there. The address that you should look for is transition at shawneygirls.luton.seh.uk. If you haven't already done so, please do follow us on Twitter. It's an excellent way of keeping up to date with us and to see all the brilliant and exciting things we do on a weekly, if not daily basis. Please also look out for our transition Google site, which we are launching soon. This will contain as much information as we can physically think of about our school, and it will be a one-stop shop for you to understand all about Chorney High School for Girls. Following this event, I have already sent a very important document via email, and it contains important information that the school requires as part of our transition process. It includes data collection, information about biometric scanning, homeschool agreement and contact information. Please do make sure that you complete all of the sections as we cannot process this unless it is completed properly. We have sent this as an editable PDF. Please download and save it first before you try and fill it in. If you do need a paper copy, please contact the school and we will send you one in the post. All information about the document itself is contained within the document, so do have a little read before you start to complete. The deadline for returning this is Friday the 7th of May 2021. This slide is just to give you some information about the things your daughter will be able to do from this point onwards. Very shortly, her primary school will give her a transition passport, and this is all about transition to high school. It's a really lovely piece of work, so please do take some time to look at it with her. And they will use these transition passports all the way through until October 2021. We also have a Be Autumn Gold Journey, which is a fun summer project, and this will be sent to all students to complete. There are certificates up for grabs and students can opt for platinum, gold, silver and bronze. It is all about learning, but it is done in a very fun way and students last year really enjoyed the challenge. We hope that Year 6 will too. Our next transition event, and please do save the date for this, it is such an important event and hopefully we will get to do this in person if the pandemic permits us to do so. The students will be joining us for two days on the 8th and 9th of July. That means they come to their new high school and they spend two days with us learning about procedures, having some lesson tasters, getting to know each other and really just experiencing what life in high school is actually like. On the evening of the 8th of July, we hold another parent carer information event. This is really important because you will be given information about the school, about the uniform you need to buy, about school processes and procedures. But more importantly, you get to meet your daughter's former tutor, your team staff and the members of SLT who will work really closely with your daughter over the next five years. At this event, you will also be able to collect the pre-ordered equipment that you will have ordered regarding the school bag, the pee kit bag, the padlock and the tie. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. We hope you have found it helpful. It's just a little insight into life at Chorney High School for Girls, and we really do look forward to welcoming you again on the 8th of July. Between now and then, please do keep an eye on emails. Please complete the paperwork that we have sent to you via email and return that by the 7th of May. And do check your emails weekly as I try to update parents as often and as I possibly can. It's been a pleasure to those of you that we saw on screen. And if we didn't see you on screen, we hope to meet you all very, very soon. Take care of each other and we will see you soon.